All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Group Chart Analysis. It is Wednesday, August 1st. Welcome to a new month. We are uh, in the month of the Leo. So whoever's a Leo, get shit done. Welcome to the club. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, right? Leo, Leo. Um, you probably be wondering real quick what's up with the screen. I changed the coloring. Got the gray background, and I changed up the candlesticks a little bit just to... Switch it up, give myself a little bit of a new, new look. I've been using the same shit for the last six, eight months now, so <laughs> I'm gonna switch it up, make myself feel sane. But uh, a lot of the pairs last night did what we wanted them to do. Uh, EU was EU gold, uh, GU. Hold on, let me look at this. Look at the hour. GU and AU were my favorite pairs. The only pair that didn't really move the way I wanted it to move was GU. Um, which is okay. I know you, Chief, actually hit our take profit immediately after we got off. I told you guys this was an ascending wedge, and literally an hour or two after we got off, it shot right up to our take profit, which is the blueberry. Uh, UJ, we had for a continued push up, and it did doing it did it during the London session, and then it became a divergent head and shoulders on the hour for the drop back back down for the water. So this was a nice little pullback. We could expect another push up tonight. Uh, GJ, we saw the push up and back down. So I did the same thing as UJ shot up, pulled back down um, for the nice little pullback. It was divergent. We're going to see what happens here. Could push down one, maybe one more night to like towards that Mayo, but we'll see how it goes. I mean, let me just draw this here just so I have it. So I'm going to be looking at the FIBS just for a nice retracement. I just want to see it. Sometimes when it gets to the – the, how close these EMAs get, uh, the trend doesn't really matter, and you can't really rely on the EMAs like that, so I got to rely on a little bit better technicals. Um, we'll do, like, purple. There we go. So the 61.8 is right here. That's what we'll be looking for. A nice little push down and the continuation looks pretty good too so we'll see see that uh ea yeah we have for a drop last night i believe it's very shot up now i had it going up to the top here and then drop but it double hit off the mayo and dropped again it's been consolidating inside here so it's been a little ugly gz shot up from our four hour remember we we talked about the other day how we were it hit the blueberry we were expecting a push back up Last night it did that push, so if you have been holding it since the other day, you would have been profit but all yesterday. Uh, GA, uh, pretty sure we had that for a drop, but at the same time it was divergent. So, no, we had it. We did have it for a buy. It was divergent here. It was oversold and divergent there. We wanted it to shoot up. I was saying it was going to go towards the water, which I was right, but it shot up a little bit higher. It didn't take out that high. And we're looking for it to possibly go right back down again. This is a nice little channel. You guys see that? Nice little channel. It's breaking the trend line right now. Consolidation. Drop back down and we test this low. All right. That's what we'll be looking for in VA. Sorry, I'm kind of going through all these pairs fast. I'll be I'll go back over. I'm just gonna see what exactly what happened last night. Uh G Chief uh shot reversed. So this would be good. This is what we were telling you. I told you on G Chief, the only way you're gonna be playing this for a buy is if it were to break the water and then come down and retest it. So if you look at the water here on the hour, I'll zoom in a little bit, came down, broke it here, and it retested it right here. And it actually threw sauce through a, through a, in a between the sheets trade. So we'll be looking for this thing to either come down tonight and shoot back up or go straight up towards that mail tonight. Um, but this is where the retest was. Uh, I'll go to the 15 minute real quick. 15 minutes should be perfect. This was the 15 minute retracement. This is it. Could I enter here? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and then NDD CAD. Someone was looking at that. So we had it in the zone. I think we had it for a night. I remember, oh, this is what happened. One guy asked for a buy, but I also, this is the reason why I don't like these pairs because they can extend their stop hunts. This one, it actually came down to here. He asked if it was going to be a good buy. I said yes. But I also said to hold it because it could consolidate. So it, right, what it's doing right now, it is, it's literally testing that zone. 
And on top of that, it's diverging on the four hour. So this was just another extended push down to continue with the divergence. It looks like it's throwing some sort of 15 minute inverted head to shoulders. Yep. Throwing it right here. Going up. This is going down. With the left shoulder, head, right shoulder. We want to break that water, pull back, and go up to the next DMA. Oh, I can't even see that. Hold up. I have to fix my chart. You're bearing with me on this. Bear with me. Change this color. You can barely see it. Dark violet. That looks good. Uh, do this. Dope. All right, cool. So let's look at this. EU hit that consolidation. It looks like it's actually hitting a trend line as we speak. About here. Still got a little bit more room. It's not completely divergent. Let's look at this 15 minute. Not the best thing that I like to see. So what we're going to look for is a couple things. Short term, if you guys are intraday trading, what we're going to look for. Uh, is the shot up to hit this water a couple times and then shot down to retest this zone. Presumably that's where the trend line will be. Let's see if it's meeting up with any resistance zones should be right here. Yep. So we'll be looking at it to retest that low as we speak. Um, and then once it hits that, we're looking for it to bounce off and then continue up to break the water and then go all the way back up. Right? So we see how that goes. So look for another continued shot down. Look at this hour. There's no divergence on the hour. The four hour is still has a little room. So kind of like, let me show you guys an example. What it did here, I want it to do here. And then we'll see it tank again, right? So we'll be looking for that thing to drop once more. Let's go to gold. All right, so we had gold going down. Um, I also did tell you guys that I didn't like it overall because of the fact that it was in the middle. Um, it was, I told you to wait for it to get down to a specific low before it didn't decide to do anything. I didn't like this, I didn't like that, and I didn't like this. I hate anything in the middle because it's not guaranteed. Um, but it did overall what we did say was to keep it with the trend, which is down. So if you would have played with the trend, you could have gotten in on here during New York session, during the right before the news, and then drop. Um, but if you didn't, don't worry. It's okay. It's not the best pair to always play at this time. So um, what to look for now? Four hours is still divergent, but it's still a downtrend. So the most that we'll see is this thing break the 15-minute uh, water. Go up to the Mayo. If it hits the Mayo, it doesn't take out this trend line here. Watch. That's a trend line I need to break. If it doesn't break this trend line or the Mayo, it's going to go back down. If it breaks it, we'll look for a retest and then a rise up to the blueberry. Right? See, this is all dependent on the trend line right here. See what it does in this zone. If it doesn't break it, sell it. If it breaks it, look for a retest, buy it. Gold, I mean, uh, GU. Uh, this pair has been consolidating. I wanted it to be a drop last night. It didn't do it. Or it, it kind of, it all depends on what you did. You could have sold it up here, grab your pips and been done. How many pips is that? If you would have sold right here, at least would have been 30 something pips. So depending on where you got in, if you did sell it, you would have made some money, but don't be mad. Like, this is still a massive consolidation. Um, so let's drop some trend lines real quick. You got here. You got there. You want to get a little bit more technical too. You got this. All right, so it's going to be doing some crazy shit in between here. 
If it breaks here, this trend line, retest, it'll go up to this trend line. If it breaks this trend line, retest, it'll go up to the blueberry. Right? If it breaks this trend line, retest, it'll keep dropping. It's in the zone. So you gotta wait for this. Don't make any sudden moves. It's consolidating too, and there should be news today. So be on the lookout. Um, I don't really like this setup of this pair right now. AU was perfect. Uh, we wanted it to be a sell. If you actually remember, for those of you that were on my analysis yesterday, we had told, we had been told, I told you guys if you wanted to sell it around this area, one of these candles. Where are we at right now? One, two, three, four, five. So if we do one, two, three, four, five. It was literally around here that we told you guys to sell it. I said if you guys wanted to sell it right now, you could have. Um, and you would have made money either on this end or if you would have held it all the way until the end of the day, you would have made, let's see, 27, 28 pips. So that was the sell. That was the intraday sell that we had called. Um, if you grabbed it, awesome. If you didn't, no worries. Let's see. Um, let's draw this. Get close to that for trend lines. I don't like that. Data. No sign of divergence on the hour. You guys are looking for a continuation shot down. All right, looking for this thing to drop once more. Look for the cells. You chief, we explained it hit that trend line. Um, and I do believe this thing's actually gonna shoot up again. It's in between the EMAs, what it's doing is this, it's hedging. We'll be looking for that breakout. I want it to be a nice little rise. All right, so you're gonna be looking for buys on you, Chief. Be patient with it though. It's in consolidation. Look for a retest buy low, sell high. So if you want it to shoot down, if it shoots down, wicks, buy it. And just hold it, see what it does. Um, I wanted to break that high, so I believe it will, especially since it's consolidating after taking out all these highs and being divergent. So that's what we're looking for. UJ, same thing. We're looking for a nice buys on this. Um, it was a nice pullback, wicked hard, trapped some traders, still above the stationary 50, still has to reach the over, so overbought zone. Um, it was diversion, but that divergence was on the hour, so this was literally just a head and shoulders for a pullback. 15 minutes says that we are going to be looking for a continuation. You're possibly going to see it maybe consolidate here one more and then shoot up. All right, so we've been looking for buys on G on UJ for sure. Um, if you if it doesn't break out here, it could just come back down, retest that uh, the blueberry once more, and then shoot up because I believe that blueberry is actually the one hour mayo and the four hour water. Right. So if we wanted to see it retest one more time. If it does, you're buying the shit out of it. That's what you're doing. GJ. Uh, GJ followed UJ pretty much identically. Um, came down, retested it. You know, it was a head and shoulder. It was divergent M on this case. Overbought, completely dropped, consolidated, pulled back. What we're going to see is possibly this too. Here, hits that blueberry once more, and then we'll see that shot up to continue to rise. Um, the reason I say that is because here's the recent high, here's the new high. Every new high has a new low. Look for the new low, look for the new high. So that's what we're going to be doing. Waiting for that. Waiting for the retest once more and then buying it. We'll be looking for my nice buys. Uh, EA. Still in consolidation. If you don't want to touch it, that's cool. Um, trying to be sure you guys understand this. It's very hard to tell what to do with this pair right now because of how much it's consolidating. Oh, look at that. Right off of it. So we look at this. Let me see this. Oh, perfect. Even 
width down to the side. No divergence. We'll be shoot, looking for this thing to shoot down. Or shoot down, then up. This thing could shoot down, then up here. So you got entry possibly here, entry possibly here. You just got to be patient. Wait for it. Short term, it'll be in and out, though. GZ. I'm going to say the same thing on GZ. I like to say this thing would be a nice sell. Um, hit that low. It bought. It's in that blueberry in the one hour. It's in between the mayo. This is where you literally will draw up your lines like your buy low, sell high. So you put your, your support resistance zones up to the top. You notice that it's in between the actual uh, the mayo right now on the one hour. It's mayo and the blueberry, I believe. Yep. So, and then that blueberry comes up again. We're selling it down to the low. That's what we're looking for. So you look at you'd be looking for sells on GZ uh, to grab. You'd be looking for sells. It looks like it's actually about to break now. So if you wanted to sell it, you can sell it down to the low. GA, same thing. Looking for sells on this. I kind of explained it myself earlier. You're looking for the you know the breakage and the, the channel that it's making as we speak. Once it breaks out, what it's doing right now, it'll shoot back down toward that low. Right, so I like GA for a sell a lot, actually. If you guys want to sell that, you can sell that too. Um, I'm liking it for a sell. Really. G Chief. Um, possibly continuing up, but it also could consolidate a little bit more. So shot down and come back up. Ah. We've seen a massive push out here. Either here or it's going to shoot down. I don't really like it, but we'll be seeing. See how it goes. He's safe on GG. There's so many other pairs. We'll do NDB CAD. I'm sticking to my analysis on this, saying from yesterday and saying it's going to be a buy. Yes, I understand it's shot down, but this was the zone I said it was also going to be able to retest. So wait for it to break that water and then shoot up and you can buy it right about here on the retest and then you should be good. Does anybody have any questions real quick? I just flew through them. Um, not, we post this on the website, on the chart analysis. And uh, hopefully you guys rack some fucking money out. Make some uh, moolah, you know? I do like GA. I do like AU. Gold looks it's not bad. UJ looks good for the retest and then the buy. I really like those pairs. But GA is definitely a favorite. So. All right, guys. Um, that's it for tonight. I'll see you guys Wednesday. So, again, midweek, midweek reversals could happen here. Um, and be safe. Watch out for news. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 6 o'clock to finish out the week strong. Peace out, guys.